Welcome to a journey of understanding and overcoming feelings of unworthiness. I'm here to shed light on this common yet often overlooked emotional struggle many face at different times. I aim to not only delve into what unworthiness is, it also provides transformative guidance on how to navigate through it. This journey is one many of us share collectively and it's important to remember, you are not alone in this. Unworthiness is a feeling that many of us experience. And do we even know what it means? At its core, unworthiness is a pervasive sense of being less than others, of not being good enough. It's like a gray cloud that hangs over your life, casting a shadow on your self-perception and how you interact with the world. Imagine you're at a party where everyone seems to be having a good time. You look around and see people chatting, laughing, enjoying themselves. You you feel like an outsider. You tell yourself that you're not interesting enough, not funny enough, not likable enough. That's unworthiness. It's the voice inside your head that tells you, you don't deserve happiness, love, success, or anything you yearn for. Unworthiness can also manifest in more subtle ways. It can be the hesitation you feel before speaking up at a meeting, thinking your ideas aren't valuable, so you sit down and shut up. It might be the guilt you experience after treating yourself to something nice, believing you don't deserve it. Or perhaps it's the fear of rejection that stops you from reaching out to others, convincing you that they wouldn't want to spend time with you. Unworthiness can be a heavy burden, often rooted in past experiences and internalized negative beliefs. Recognizing it is the first step to overcoming it. Remember, everyone has the power to challenge and change these feelings of unworthiness, to step out from under that gray cloud and into the light. Now that we've grasped the sensation of unworthiness, let's gracefully transition into its origins. Unworthiness, as we'll see, can sprout from an array of sources. A key source we often encounter is past early experiences, such as abuse, neglect, or abandonment can sow the seeds of unworthiness. These encounters can leave us holding onto the belief that we're fundamentally flawed or undeserving of love and respect. As we smoothly shift our focus, we find societal pressures playing their part as well. In the world we inhabit, perfection, success, and conformity are highly valued. Relentlessly, we're hit with messages that we're insufficient just the way we are, creating the illusion that worthiness requires being more attractive, successful, popular, or accomplished. This never-ending pressure to compete instigates feelings of unworthiness. Next, personal failures stride into the picture. Failed relationship, a career impasse, or a missed opportunity. Such experiences might lead us to question our worth and abilities. We may begin to think that because we've stumbled, we are the stumble. But it's crucial to remember as we transition out of this topic, these sources of unworthiness are external. They do not define us. We aren't our past. We aren't the unachievable standards set by society, and we certainly aren't our failures. Recognizing these origins can guide us to understand why we feel unworthy and help us move towards addressing it. Unworthiness doesn't just distort our self-perception, it resonates throughout our entire existence. It casts a shadow over our relationships, compelling us to accept less than what we are truly worth. Unworthiness can choke our personal development, resulting in lost opportunities. It has the capacity to invade our overall happiness, creating obstructions that hinder full participation in the beauty of life. Now is the time to recognize this and formulate strategies to defeat it. 
Together, let's embark on a journey to triumph over unworthiness. Overcoming unworthiness isn't easy, but with determination and patience, it's possible. Let's explore some steps that can help you navigate this journey. Firstly, engage in self-reflection. It's crucial to identify and acknowledge those deep-seated feelings of unworthiness. Instead of running away from these emotions, face them head on, write them down, speak them out loud, or simply sit quietly with them. Remember, it's okay to feel this way. Acknowledging these feelings is the first step towards overcoming them. Next, challenge your negative beliefs. Often, feelings of unworthiness stem from harmful narratives we've internalized about ourselves. We may think we're not good enough, not smart enough, or simply not enough. These are just thoughts, not facts. Start by questioning these negative beliefs. Ask yourself, is this really true? Would I say this to a friend? What evidence do I have to support this belief? Then reframe these thoughts into positive affirmations. For instance, I'm not good enough can become I am enough just as I am. Thirdly, practice self-compassion. Treat yourself with the kindness and understanding you would extend to a dear friend. Instead of beating yourself up over mistakes or perceived shortcomings, Remind yourself that you are human and it's okay to be imperfect. Engage in self-care activities that nourish your mind, body, and soul. This could be anything from reading a book to taking a long walk, or simply spending some quiet time alone. The fourth step is to seek support. It's okay to ask for help when you're struggling. Reach out to trusted friends, family members, or professionals who can provide the guidance and support you need. Remember, everyone needs help sometimes, and there's strength in vulnerability. Lastly, celebrate your small wins. Every step you take towards overcoming unworthiness, no matter how small, is a victory. So, recognize and celebrate your progress. Maybe you challenged a negative belief today or practiced self-compassion. These are significant milestones and they deserve recognition. Celebrating your small wins also helps to reinforce positive behavior and boost your motivation to keep going. Each step on this journey may seem small on its own, but together they lead to significant changes. Overcoming unworthiness isn't a one-time event, but a continuous process. It involves taking one step at a time, over and over again, until you've built a strong foundation of self-worth and self-love. You may stumble along the way, and that's okay. The important thing is to keep moving forward. Effort is progress. Many have walked this path before you, and many will walk it after you. Your feelings of unworthiness do not define you or determine your worth. You are enough just as you are. And with each step you take, you're getting closer to a life where you recognize and embrace your worth. Closer to shining like you in all ways. Overcoming unworthiness is just the beginning. Now it's time to embrace this goodness. Imagine your mind as a garden. The thoughts you allow to grow are the seeds you plant. To cultivate a garden of self-worth, you need to plant seeds of positive affirmations and self-talk. And just like any garden, it needs consistent care and attention for the plants to flourish. Affirmations are positive statements that can help you challenge and overcome self-sabotaging and negative thoughts. When you repeat them often and believe in them, you can start to make positive changes. This practice can seem awkward at first, but over time these affirmations can become a natural part of your thought process. For instance, instead of telling yourself, I can't do this, try saying, I'm capable and strong. I can handle whatever is slung my way. Instead of thinking, I'm not good enough. Replace it with, 
I'm enough just the way I am. Positive self-talk, on the other hand, is about recognizing your own achievements, no matter how small they may seem. Celebrate your progress. Acknowledge your efforts. Applaud yourself for stepping out of your comfort zone. This act of self-recognition can help to reinforce your self-worth and maintain the progress you've made. This journey towards embracing your worth is not a one-time event, but a continuous process. It's normal to have ups and downs along the way. Just remember, you are growing, evolving, and learning. You're not expected to be perfect. You're expected to be you. Remember, you are worthy and you have the power to believe it. We've covered a lot today, but remember, this is just the beginning of your journey. It's time to recognize and challenge your feelings of unworthiness to treat yourself with compassion and to celebrate your small victories. Seek support when you need it and never forget. You are not alone in this journey. You are worthy, you are enough, and we're here to support you every step of your shine journey. Subscribe for more content on meditation, self-realization, and personal growth.